Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Talro's Automotive Components Limited Q1 FY23 earnings conference call. This conference call may contain forward-looking statements about the company which are based on the beliefs, opinions, and expectations of the company as on date of this call. These statements are not the guarantees of future performance and involve risks and uncertainties that are difficult to predict. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in a listen-only mode. And, when the, and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during this conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star and zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Anuj Talwar, Joint Managing Director of Talwar's Automotive Components Limited. Thank you, and over to you, Mr. Talwar. Yeah, thank you so much. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. And I think you welcome to our quarter one FY23 earnings call. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. On the call today, I'm joined by Mr. Nadeem Gineja, our director on the board, and our group CFO, SGA, our investigation advisors. The results and the presentation are uploaded on the stock exchange and the company website. I hope everyone has had a chance to look at it. Let me begin with the industry and the economy overview. The auto comp industry has been doing better in the last few months thanks to rising demand, consumer confidence in the rural areas, the easing of the semiconductor supply issues, and the declining commodity prices. As the data published by CM during the period of April to June 2022, auto sales across the board. Recent auto sale figures supported by auto OEMs continue to show an uptrend. And it is anticipated that this trend will continue in the second quarter as well, as we approach the festive season and having a great monsoon. In fact, our key customers have indicated a positive growth for this year. And I'm sure that we've been reading in the media every other day, we get a very strong picture about the auto industry. For the quarter gone by, our revenues increased by 11% YOY to 154 crores. Our EBITDA increased by 9% and to 21 crores. And our PAC increased by 20% YOY to 12 crores. We're keeping pace with the ever-evolving technology to be at the forefront of all revolutions. Our core company, Gaskets and Forgings, uh, have done extremely well. Forging has had a slight issue due to the euro, which Mr. Dineja will explain in the question of the session. And also, a lot of its customers had a semiconductor issue uh, in Europe, as we explored about 40% from our forging business line. Gaskets continues to be very strong. We dominate the Indian market. Um, our market share is over 50% in the gasket business. Um, we've just added a new product line called Heat Shields which we'll also talk in, in the question of the session, adding new customers and new geographies. Our joint ventures are doing extremely, extremely well, uh, whether it is the Merrily joint venture, which is doing a lot of work for uh, Tata Motors and especially a lot for the EV vehicles, um, is doing extremely well. Um, and even our other joint venture, Talbot Marugu, uh, is looking at uh, ramping up its revenue um, due to a big demand with Maruti. As a group uh, with 100% uh, of revenues of our standard businesses, gaskets and forging, and our joint ventures, we achieved a turnover of 238 crores for quarter one. 154 crores being the Indian accounting standards, but as a company as a whole, we achieved the highest of 238. We continue to remain a very hedged auto comp company uh, with no customer being more than about 10 to 11 percent of our revenue and being hedged in our domestic sales about 23 percent of revenue comes from two and three wheelers 27 percent comes from passenger vehicle segment 32 percent comes by commercial vehicles and 13 by admin off-roader our exports are doing well uh, as i mentioned earlier with forging being almost about 40 percent of revenue coming exports our export portfolio is around 25%. We just announced very recently 
that we won an order of about 400 crores, um, which we be, uh, will will so get commercialized in the next four to six years. Uh, these orders are across all our divisions, um, gaskets, forgings, chassis, and rubber. Uh, we're proud to say we've also entered into a new segment, which is agri and off-highway in the overseas market. And of this particular uh, order book, about 18%, one will come from electric vehicles. We are investing in technologies which will take us, will make us stronger both in the domestic market and the global uh, market as well. I request Mr. Jineja now to take you to all the numbers. Thank you, Anuj. Yeah. Good afternoon and a warm welcome to all the participants. Let me begin with the financial overview. In the gasket division, including Nippon Nikla Stalbos, for Q1 of FI23, our standalone gasket sales was rupees 106 crores, as against 88 crores in Q1 of FI22, a growth of 20%. Total revenue of Nippon Nicholas was 22 crores in FI22, as compared to 13 crores in Q1 of FI22, a growth of 69%. This segment saw a combined EBITDA of 18.6 crores in Q1 of FI23 versus 14.2 crores in Q1 of FI22, a growth of 31%. Now, coming to the polling division, revenue in Q1 of FI23 due grew by 4% to 49 crores as against 51 crores in Q1 of FI22. This was uh, primarily because of the huge power cuts in the month of April and May in Bauer area. So the forging plant could not achieve the optimum level of capacity utilization, which led to a production and sale loss in Q1 of FI23. The value of that was around 3 crores approximately. For Magneti Merli Chassis System Private Limited, revenue for Q1 FI23 stood at 45 crores versus 32 crores in Q1 of FI22, raising a growth of 40%. For Tango Margo, the revenue stood at 17 crores in Q1 of FI23 versus 12 crores in Q1 of FI22, a growth of 36%. For FI23, we are working on multiple orders across exports and the domestic market and across various segments of OEMs. We remain confident of achieving growth over FI22 in revenue terms. However, we are facing medium-term challenges on raw materials, inflation, logistics, etc. We will refrain to in guiding margins for FI23 and revisit post the second quarter, sexually and long-term basis, we believe that we are in substantial margin improvement. This is all from our side, and I would like, like to open the floor to the question also. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question at this time may press star then one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and then two. Participants are requested to please use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Again, participants who wish to ask a question may enter star one now. Our first question is from the line of Shalini Gupta from East India Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. So I have two questions. One is that, uh, the order book that you were saying, uh, I just wanted to understand what's the sanctity of that of that order book. Why I'm asking you this question? Because a couple of weeks back, we saw uh, another auto ancillary company, uh, and their their orders were were cancelled by the uh, by the company they were going to be supplying to. So, if you could just comment on this. Yeah. I would like to answer your question. First of all, these are the confirmed orders, and there is no question of uh, cancelling them. In some cases, we have received the tool advances also, number one. And uh, these are the new new products, new new customers. Some are new customers. Some are uh, 
we have entered into some agreements with them in some cases and uh, these orders are just i can tell you in gasket division is 39 crore per annum in forging division is 24 at present but we expect this 24 to become 40 in the next 45 days i think so in many many is around 23 crores out of which 18 crores is uh, around uh, if we divide by around five, four to five crores is approximately in uh, ev vehicles so combined total 85 crores is per annum business for a period of four to six years it will be around 400 crores the confirm orders these are not uh, going to cancel. Some some cases we are receiving advances also. This is what I can say. Okay, sir. Uh, at my end, like as an investor, what should I look look out for to make sure that the order book that that a company is is saying is actually uh, you know not not uh, not open to being being uh, being cancelled. I just wanted to check at my end as an investor, what should I look for? So you, you should look. Man, you have a look. Yeah. yeah. I'm agree. Carry on, carry on. No, no, please carry on. First of all, yeah. first of all you need to see the tire record of the company. We have got customers, we are working with them for so, so many years. And uh, what about the, these are the customers which are renowned customers. These are customers which are working in the group, with the group for so many years. These are customers which are not uh, small companies. Not, not, we are not OE, uh, replacement market companies. These are the big OEMs of the world. So in that case, when they enter with you, they enter with a long-term perspective. We have long-term contacts with them in some cases. Sure. And so I also like, like to, I'd like to add also one point out here. A lot of our relationship with our customers uh, go back many, many years, number one, is built on trust and delivery. Uh, the other thing I'd like to also answer is that a lot of our customers today in India, and uh, you know, we are pretty much single source with them. So that's the kind of faith and belief that they have on the brand. And getting a customer today in a global scenario, in an Indian scenario, is getting tougher. It takes a lot of validation, it takes a lot of efforts. Uh, all I can say is that we've received some advances, some prototype toolings from them. So it should be okay. There's no problem at all. It's all trust and delivery, which will build over last many, many years. Yeah. And so my second and last question, like everybody is talking about the the chip shortage easing. So I just wanted to check what what in your opinion is the reason for the chip shortage easing. Is it because new capacities have come up or is it that China lockdown uh, is no longer that I mean China the lockdown has been withdrawn so what in your opinion is the reason for uh, the chip shortage? even 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 our own country today India is looking to generate chip manufacturing so a lot of new capacities have come come on board that's what's happened and uh, that is the reason for it Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Before we take the next question, we'd like to remind participants that you may enter star one to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Dipen Shah, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, good afternoon, and uh, thank you for taking my question. Uh, I had a question on the margins. Uh, Mr. Juneja, you alluded to the fact that you know there have been some issues in the ma in the raw material pricing uh, because of which you are not able to guide on the margins. Uh, could you just elaborate a bit more on that and uh, maybe also oh, by when do you think yeah. you should be able to get a clear view? Thank you. So, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Shah. Uh, yeah, there are some pressures on the margins. One is because of the import the, uh, dollar price. We are importing in cash a lot of stuff, which is, uh, mm -hmm. the, I think, the cost of which has gone up because of the dollar appreciating. And mm -hmm. uh, number two, and some critical raw materials of rubber, we are facing problem of prices. But these prices are recoverable. 90% plus are recoverable from the customers. Of course, it takes one or two quarters to recover. We are long the price increases. And by the end of the year, you can see that uh, our margins, which are originally there, will be there. We are not worried about that, but it's a time lag only. That is the only thing. Sometimes it's effect like delivery also. Sometimes we need to 
take some critical raw material by air it add to some cost except that everything is fine but in the first quarter was there any impact of this raw material yes price? of course of course of course of course there the dollar went uh, from 75 76 to 80 in the first quarter itself mm -hmm. so and some material price also increased in this quarter we have all along the price increase and you will see the effect of that in the coming quarters it will be the uh, so, effect in the sense positive effect we will able to recover the price increase Okay, sorry to just uh, stretch it a bit. So this, yeah, not just quarter by quarter. Is at the end of year you will see the everything will be recovered. Oh, so I just wanted to ask whether second quarter could be worse off than first quarter or maybe. No, no, it should it, be, it should not be worse. It should be not. It should, it it should, should be not be worse at all. At all. And uh, overall, uh, overall from the OEM side, sir, we are seeing some. positive comments coming across except for the yes. lower yeah, end yeah i know just features. told you uh, yes positive comments are coming across and uh, we are looking for a healthy order book going forward and pv as you know pv are doing very well maruti mm. has given very good numbers for this quarter it will and mm -hmm. tata motors pv is a percentage vehicle is very good numbers both merely and margo are banking on these order and they are doing very well they did perform very well in the month of july and on the gasket side we are also doing very well and but but uh, and uh, forging the export is muted in the month of august because of the mm -hmm. uh, holidays there in the in the month of august in the whole europe but it will be recovered in the side of that okay but see every, every year it happens nothing new yeah in terms of uh, new model launches sir could you just uh, you know guide us a bit on which all new models have you been selected for that is the new model yes, yeah we have been selected with we added some new customers in india we added hyundai <coughs> as a new customer so the new the new suvs and uh, we are a part of their journey uh, maruti uh, the new variants uh, that have been launched we are a part of that as well tata motors we very very aggressive with our marini joint venture so all their new models the ev the the the, the, the punch the hornbull we are a part of that also we are also part of jaguar land rover uh vehicles uh, uh, globally the the discovery sport the range rover mm -hmm. sport and the range rover so we are in a, in a healthy healthy situation um, uh, so it's it's it looks good it looks very very good actually and in the real slump of 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 uh, august is there it limit but i think the commentary is so positive from oem even two wheelers you know if you look at our, if you look at like you know our two wheelers growth also is pretty strong uh you know all that commentary was coming earlier ev this that whatever but even two wheel is looking very very strong okay right. thank you so much anuj and mr junaida all the very best thank you thank you very thank much thank you our next question is from the line of shikha mehta from equity capital please go ahead good afternoon sir i just have a couple of questions could you give me a capacity utilization across all the segments Yeah, I will give you that. Uh, the capacity utilization, if we just a second for me, yeah, it's approximately in in, in case of gas kit, it's around uh, eighty eighty seven to eighty eight percent. In forging division, it's seventy eight percent. In nipple leakless, is around eighty percent. In magnetic valley, around seventy five percent. In margo. in the case of anti vibration is 90% in the case of hose uh, is 35% in the first quarter okay this is okay and so currently are we outsourcing anything outsourcing in the sense we are doing some osp work some machining in the importing some low end machining is being outsourced and uh, similarly some in gasket some low end processes are being outsourced that's all okay Uh, and so could you also throw some light on uh, how our products are doing in europe currently given the demand for them hey, pardon me can you repeat the question again sorry for that uh, how we're doing in europe broadly given the slow down yeah europe is not bad of course it's little slow the bmw sale is little down i can say but uh, and even in case of gkm that sale is a little down and uh, but not in the case of gla we are doing okay there and uh, rest of in gas it's okay in forging is little down because of uh, first of all chip shortages second 
in the month of august specially there are holidays so mm-hmm. but the but the yearly projections are good there is no doubt about that uh so we don't expect to be growing no, no, nothing major nothing major maybe okay. 2% here and there that's all 2 3% here and there. nothing major but we are adding some new customer also which will uh, which will start uh, converting into the commercial business in the third quarter and fourth quarter of this year okay and also the semiconductor shortage issue seems to be uh, it seems to be easing out are we witnessing that in our product changes as well are we seeing demand improve i think it's not be 100% over in the low end car it's i think it's over in the low end car like of maruti and tata motors i in, in the case of high end car bmw volvo and those stuff is still there it's not 100% over Hmm. now in india i think kia has also increased the production it means some relief they have got from china or from somewhere right right okay so i'll come back in the queue thank you thank you our next question is from the line of hiten boricha from joindra capital please go ahead mr boricha hello am i audible yes sir you are yes uh yeah thank you for the opportunity sir so i have two questions the first one is on the revenue growth so you mentioned the uh, commentary from the oem was very good and we are seeing a very good traction here so what kind of revenue visibility we have in this year like uh, double digit growth or anything any color on that and the second question is on the order book sir so after receiving the 400 crores order book uh, order now so what is the current order book so first of all i want to tell you regarding the outlook of uh, top line outlook outlook of course we are very optimistic of a we are working and if the thing remain but i will hear hearing from the oem we should be able to minimum double digit growth we are looking in the top line for this financial year number one and how double digit we can say that it's 11% or plus how many how much it depends on how the thing will move in future also because of daily you are this thing sometimes taiwan is china etc etc i don't know what will happen there mm-hmm. secondly your question was on the order book order book mm-hmm. is we get the orders from oems and the four customers first is annual order we get from the four customers and then it's a three months rotating order we get and uh, in the case of oem also we get three years order but the order indicative orders but at the end of beginning of the month the order sometimes goes up and sometimes come down also depending on their demand and it not depend on the our product there are other products to be in, in engine and in vehicle which has to be there sometimes we lose business because some other components are not available with them it happened in the past but still we are order book is okay healthy and we are working for double digit top line but can you quantify the order book so we can't quantify it you understand okay. nobody can quantify it okay okay so you can't i will give you not a guarantee order of what we uh, maruti will give you i will take this much vehicles for what different vehicles every month they give an indicative forecast for three months correct correct and it then it is confirmed at the beginning of the month only okay 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 i understand and sir and on yeah, the margin for this quarter maruti is healthy tata motor is very healthy that's it sir understood 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 sir so and on the margin part uh, just a clarification you mentioned we are going to at least maintain this 13% kind of margin right but it will grow it will further grow don't worry it will okay go okay. so we are not saying any negative impact because of no 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 no, no 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 negative no negative okay. no we should better it I do it would better it will not worry okay so okay i'll come back in the queue sir thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen before we take the next question we'd like to remind you that you may enter star 1 to ask a question the next question is from the line of jyoti singh from arihant capital markets please go ahead yeah uh, thank you for the opportunity my question uh, is on heat shield side and it's been in attraction so how much revenue um, uh, we have in q1 fy23 and what is your outlook on the heat shield side as we also got the order 
so how much growth we are going ahead we are expecting and also yeah. we are facing any issue on the europe side okay now coming to the uh in the first quarter i think we have done a business around 8 crores but i want to tell you that we have the the commercial business of hyundai is yet to start it in next 3 weeks okay samples have gone they are accepted they want to visit the plant they will visit any time now and the commercial so i will start from uh, i think from next month it will start the uh, hyundai ships by maruti launches are there in october september october when the maruti business will start at present my if i have the order book which is under implementation or under the development etc is uh, to the extent of 40 crore plus i have got at present for the issue and we are ne- negotiating the new businesses of issue also with other customers and we are hopeful that in next 3 4 years this business can touch up to 60 to 70 crores easily now coming the export orders is 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 uh, i want to repeat it is there is no doom in the export order it's just a temporary phase and uh, as i said always down but it's not that bad uh, jl is doing very well we are getting uh, dana is okay and uh, other customers of gas fees are fine there is no problem but it's a little bit down because agar se jaldi close there there is nothing major problem is there okay thank you sir and sir also my question is on the uh, august side i mean uh, as we have almost whole month uh, holiday so because of that we will see any impact no 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 not major nothing major no impact every year it happens no every year it happens yeah there's yeah. no major impact there's no major impact please i want to say please don't worry there is no major impact Yeah, I know this is on. Yeah, we have a lot of we have a lot of seasonal holidays that happen in India in August. It happens in the US. It happens in Europe. But this is a part that's already factored into the schedule of the customers. The good the good okay. thing is that there's a big pent up demand in the auto industry. That is what we should look at. Big pent up demand. Okay, and also the on the Europe. Yeah. Uh, on, yeah on the europe side we are facing any issue because of the energy price hike no we are not facing at present no okay any expectation for future the energy yes on the energy front as mostly uh, yeah uh, why that i can't comment but uh, the schedules we are getting from the customer is perfectly fine they're showing good growth okay thank you thank you okay. our next question is from the line of manikanda prabhu s from mkp securities please go ahead uh yes hello sir i have one more question as uh, so i'm sorry to interrupt may i request you to please use your handset instead of speaker phone if you are not clearly audible yeah okay hello could you hear me yes sir please proceed i am actually uh, i have a question on uh, domestic and export split up uh, while comparing to the last year uh, from the last year so the export contribution is uh, coming down so is it any plan to expo- uh, expand the uh, export direction or uh, uh, how it will be in future that is my first question and my second question is like uh, we got an order on uh, 400 crores as a new order in that how much uh, contribution from export yeah i will answer that question first of all your share, yeah. share is uh, my export is coming down okay first you are that if i see in q1 q1 if i total stand on business last year my export was in uh, in q1 just a minute my export was 42 2.77 crores on stand on business This year is 41. Okay, number one. Okay. One of the reasons of lower export uh, was non-availability of container. In forging division, sorry, gasket division, 2.2 crore of export couldn't be shipped because of non-availability of container, and, and it went on 10th July. The material lying in my MGS. So, if the container was available, I would have crossed this order, this export, first year, first quarter. 
please, I want to say my export will grow this year as compared to last year. I want to repeat that question first. The, you will see the good connection coming in the next three quarters. My overall export for this financial year will be more than last financial year, number one, on a combined basis. This is. Now coming to MMT. MMT export in the first quarter was around six to seven crores. Last year total export was around 20 crores. This year MMT export will cross 40 crore plus. This I'm telling you because we've got very good orders and supplies are starting in the month of September onwards. Okay. So on the export front, there is no problem. We will, as a group, I will, as a, I will have a very positive growth in the export book. Number one. Number two query were regarding. Can you repeat? Sorry, I forgot. Uh, in that uh, upcoming order, like uh, we had an yeah. order of yeah, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah. Out of this 400 crores, my export order book is around. If I take 400 into just a minute, just a minute, it's around 30 percent. Okay. 30 percent in my export orders out of this. We are okay. big OEMs in Europe, Europe, UK, UK. One is. Out of which 80 to 100 crore is for a very, very big uh, off highway customers, new customer we have added in UK. Okay. okay. So can our, uh, our endeavor, our endeavor, let's what Mr. Naveen said right now, our endeavor is that we want to try and go up to about 20 to 30 percent exports. It's a healthy product mix for our group. Hello? Okay. And oh, okay. at the same time, you know, now because of COVID, the situation are over. Our teams are now going going ahead and participating in shows in Hanover, in Las Vegas, in Frankfurt, going back to the trade shows, going back to meet the customers. Uh, you know, so that is a very positive sign also. Because the last two three, three years, everything was done only on on repetition and on Zoom. But at the end of the day, now they're meeting the customers yet again. So you see a lot of traction exports. Don't, don't worry, it is, much, it is much more than last year that I can run to you. That's yeah, we are very, very comfortable exports uh, because, you know, if you look at it in the gasket market today, we already 50% in India. I might be become 51 or 52 or 354, but globally, there's a huge potential uh, for gaskets and heat shields and for forging and for chassis. Yeah. Okay, so uh, can we have a vision like uh, 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 next uh, next five years uh, the export contribution will be 30 to 40 percent more than that, or uh, it will be uh, a domestic dominating uh, player like that? Uh, uh, no, so, uh, like, I, like I mentioned, like like I mentioned to you, that we would try and target between 20 to 30 percent on a higher okay. turnover. India okay. is also going very aggressively. We understand that the Indian market. The next three to five years is going to go very, very aggressively. Commercial vehicles, passenger vehicles, tractors, then then two, three wheelers. So on a higher base, we should be about 20 to 30 percent, 28 to 30 percent. Okay, okay. So uh, the last question, like uh, how much uh, the uh, margin uh, in margin front, how much we can get from uh, export orders, like uh, uh, compared to domestic, how much uh, difference we can get from the order? Yeah, it's generally two percent, two to three percent higher than the domestic market. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Question is from the line of Deepak, individual investor. Please go ahead. Hello? Yes, Deepak, please proceed. Yes, thanks for the opportunity. My uh, question has already been asked. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question is from the line of Ashay Jain from Jain Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi. Uh, so I have a couple of questions. Uh, firstly, so we, uh, have you taken any uh, hit uh, on account of uh, our currency depreciation in our export segment? Yeah, on the export segment, we are hedging our currency, but on the import side, we are not doing that. Generally, 30 to 40 percent we are hedging on export front. Okay. Uh, secondly, can you throw uh, some light on the customer mix for the quarter? Pardon me? Pardon me? Uh, so can you throw some light on the customer mix for the quarter? Yeah, yeah, we can throw. I will tell you the customer mix. Just a minute. Just a second. The, yeah, I will give you the point. Yeah. Yeah. 
Just a second. Yeah. You want the customer voice, uh, if you see that, I will give you division wise. Okay. Okay. On the gas kit front, uh, in the Q1, my Tata Cummins is a delay sale of 16.174 crore, Bajaj delay 14.52. Tata Motors did it 7.22, BCB did 5.25, Hida Motor Court 4.25, John Deere 3 and a half crores, Tata Cummins India 3 crores, these are major customers, Cummins USA did 2 and a half crores. On the forging front, BMW 11 crores, Dana Italy 9 crores, JLR again 6 crores, GK and Italy 5 crores, Ferraro Export 4 crores, then comes the Dana uh, Spicer India, Dana Spicer 4 Port India. Nippon Leakless, Hero Motocross around 11.5 crores. Honda 6 crores. We have two major customers there. In the Marini, Maruti India did a business of 19.5 crores. Tata Motors around 8.5 crores. Jaguar 7 crores. And the rest are small. And the Margo front, Maruti did a business of 5 crores and Suzuki uh, Gujarat did a business of 2 crores if we add it 7 crores and the uh, rest are again majorly those customers these are the breakers broad breakers ok sir uh, yeah thank you that's all from my thank you our next question is from the line of Priyanka Shah from KK Advisors please go ahead thank you sir for the opportunity so what is the capex guiding for FY23 yeah, uh, in the capex on the gas state front, we are doing capex of around 18 to 20 crores, which will include the new wheel shield line already 90% done, and uh, IVH gasket uh, which is around 7 to 8 crores plus some balance, you know, some I think some machine for uh, laser welding we are kept putting which is around three and a half crores. So total about 15 to 20 crores in between. In the forging front, we'll business of uh, we'll do capex of around 12 to 15 crores in forging business. And uh, rest are uh, in mainly, mainly around five to seven crores. Margo will do five crores. Nippon around one and a half crores. Okay, sir. And any plans on the debt reduction? And can you mention the gross and net debt figures? Ma'am, uh, we are working towards that, but you know that with the increase in turnover, you require some more materials. My money blocked in that also, and to that extent. We are trying to squeeze that. We are not trying to increase that. And term loan front, uh, we are trying to maintain the same amount because we, for the capexes, we need to borrow money from the banks also to some extent. We can't do 100% of our own. So at present, my 30th June, my total uh, is around 92 to 93 crore is my total borrowing, which includes term loan around, for around 15 crores. Balance is working at but can oh, you can you share, Mr. Vinaja? Can you can you share them the what we have, what is now our debt to equity ratio? It's come down. Yeah, we will share in the month of September, and when the balance sheet, we will discuss the balance sheet also. It, it oh, will come yeah. down further. It was 0.31 and as on 31 March, it will come down further by September. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our next question is from the line of Nagesh Rajana from NR Family Office. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi. Congratulations to the team uh, on another outstanding performance. Just one quick question because I think there seems to be a lot of euphoria around the growth. The industry seems to be doing well. You seem to have got large orders and you have some great export plans. Is there a kind of a compounded annual growth rate estimation for the next, you know, three to five years, which you have both on the revenue and the margin side? Yeah, on the revenue side, we are working on double digit growth every year, number one. Uh, and uh, double digit Mr. growth. Mr. Major, double digit, double digit is a very, very I know, huge. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. You, you have to help us with some kind of a clarity. Because when you say double digit, it could actually range from, you know, 10 to 99. I know, I know, I know, I know what you're uh, talking about. I, I, I think you know. probably will have to be a little more fairer and a little more transparent to the investor the community. Market, the market okay. is such, you know that, how the things are moving. Nobody, we, put, we project some, we keep in mind something, but at the end of the day, something else happened. 
so one has to be really careful of course we will uh, can discuss with you when we'll meet you and we can we have some plans but it's not i can't announce these plan i have some long term plans i have very much long term plan double t floor plan and bottom line decent event improvement plans in mind but now with due respect to you mr taneja i think you will also have to appreciate because you know either you can actually give a broad range saying you know let's say 15 to 20% or a 20 to 25% you know if you can actually give us some broad range because at the end of the day you yeah, are in the industry you have you have an industry picture you have so much of experience i think all that knowledge and wisdom of yours should help us to get some you know a specific range uh double digit is a is a two way going to two broad range uh i i hope you respect it yeah yeah i respect that but let me give some time to come back on this please and uh, what what okay let, let me let me re- change the question what's your vision in terms of your top line let's say from a 3 to 5 year perspective would you be targeting an x revenue from t to t year vision of course uh, i want first my my vision in the uh, gasket business to top 600 crore business top line in the forging to 400 crores and mainly mainly we are target, we we are vision is around 350 to 400 crores at a consolidated Marco. level uh, mr taneja if we have to look nobody at let's can, say 2025 no nobody can predict confirm 2025 na we have vision to work we are working toward that nobody has business for 2025 today we have to no. set a goal and we have to work toward that now we do respect to all of you this is this I'm goes just up and down as a year and also na now with the due respect to you okay 2025 what could be your you know top line vision 2025 you are saying very top line vision i think we need to work talk on that separately we will talk on that separately along with us here we will work on that all yeah. right all right would would appreciate you know if you could just work on it and let us let's know yeah thank you thank, thank you, you very much ladies and gentlemen that was the last question i now hand the conference over to the management for closing comments yeah yeah thank you so much uh, for participating in the call um, i hope you able to answer all your questions uh, any further question you can contact sga and we remain confident about the auto sector and our own performance thank you so much thank you thank you very much mr talwar mr janeja Ladies and gentlemen on behalf of Talbot Automotive Components Limited that concludes this conference call thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines